So here's what we got for you, starting off with the short ribs. Cooked until tender, and then finished on the grill with a red wine barbecue glaze. G is going to be dropping the mirepoix in here and getting that started. So, G, I've got that preheated for you. Okay, awesome. You're working the mirepoix, a little olive oil right there. I've got the short ribs, a little salt and pepper. Uh, let me borrow that for a second. Thanks. I'm going to put down a bit of oil. Awesome. G, some oil in there for you. Thank you, brother. Seasoned on this side. I'm going to roll them. Season the other side. Look at that. Tell me those aren't gorgeous. This is really what you want to ask your butcher to bring in for you. Holiday season, you could do a bunch of these, sear them off ahead of time, get them into a big pressure cooker. You don't have that, you can roast them off in the oven. Pressure cooker just kind of expedites things. So here we go. We're going to go fat side down, start that rendering. There we go. So you can see what's going on. This is kind of like uh, beef short rib Tetris. Yeah, this is like short rib palooza. There you go. If I was much higher on the side, like if I was in there, you wouldn't be able to sear the short ribs. They'd start to steam each other. But because this is low, this is cast iron, it's smoking hot, it'll work. OK, G. Yeah. Um, so you look at the cut that he put on that. These could be big pieces if you wanted, but this is going to cook down even faster. OK, so we're turning that up. And I'm going all of the sides of the short rib. Takes a little bit of time, and then what I'll do is deglaze into this and dump this into the pot, okay? There we go. We drop this all down. But believe it or not, we're gonna be using this stock out of the, out of the uh, pressure cooker later, so I'm even gonna dump this in, okay? This is where things are gonna get a little wild. Take a little red wine, deglaze this pan, watch show. Three cups right now. a little bit of that. I'll pour the rest. How much wine do you think I should put in this? Let's go there home. There you go. Yeah, it's Let's a whole it's a whole bottle. Okay, it is the holidays. Okay, so there's a bottle of red wine in there. And again, really good red wine. Deglazing the bottom. This I could have cooked all of this in the pressure cooker, but there wasn't enough room. And also the pressure cooker, although it's thick, isn't as thick as this cast iron. You really want to build crust, you go to this hot cast iron because it's not gonna, once it gets cold, once you drop those in, it's not gonna cool down to where it kind of <laughs> sears the other side. It just keeps hammering it the whole time. Okay, now we go in with the deglazed pan. I'm gonna go in with some thyme and some sage. Drop this in. CG here, I just about have them covered, but I'm gonna grab a little of that chicken stock from you. Excuse me. Okay, just a little bit more to where I'm about three quarters. Kinda like when we're braising something, mm -hmm. just about that amount. Okay, so this is gonna start going. G, now here's how I have to do my pot. I have to spin this thing around. Quinoa's finished. I have to spin this thing around and find my mark. See this here? Mark. See where that, <laughs> see where that scratch is? Oh, wow, that's that crazy. Is. And you'll see that it starts to build the steam, starts to build the steam. If it goes too high, yes, it will start to release on itself through this valve. But don't worry about that. You'll be able to get it. Right around medium is where I keep it. This is gonna run for about 45 minutes. You got the pullet to yeah. work. I'm gonna shut down the heat here. This is gonna get loud for a second, okay? Just hang tight with me okay. and just uh, think some happy thoughts. Ready, here we go. That's the sound of good We're thing. releasing the steam. We'll give it some little help here. Let the pressure out, open it up. It's always scary opening, and I agree. But when you see zero pressure, you know there's no pressure in it. Then we're gonna pull the short ribs out, G, let them cool, so they tighten back up, they kind of congeal. We'll take the liquid, we'll strain that out, and then later we'll throw them on the grill and baste them with the sauce. But we gotta make sure that we remember to get this liquid out of the pressure cooker, because that's gonna go in the barbecue sauce. I have made a reduction. Of the, of the sauce that came out of the pressure cooker where I did these short ribs in literally, what, 45 minutes? Ooh. A lot of red wine, all that great flavor, and I reduced it just a little bit, mixed it into the barbecue sauce, some brown sugar, a little red wine vinegar, and a little bit of chili flake, and this is gonna go to base these ribs. Do I remember when you made those that night? We start grabbing some ribs, laying it down. Oh, yeah. A little bit of that thyme. See that? Tighten it up, okay? Give me a little drizzle left. The top. Huh? Huh? What do you think, G? Mm. 